Good morning. Uh, this is Alec O'Mara, Media Relations Manager for Unitil with an update for you. Uh, we have approximately 8,000 customers without power right now. The vast majority of those are in the New Hampshire Seacoast area. Uh, what we've seen out in the field this morning is a lot of uh, pretty extensive damage. And the kind of damage we're seeing is the kind that leads to wires down issues, lots of trees coming down on lines, lots of broken poles. Those are the kind of jobs that are very work intensive for our crews. So each one of those fixes is going to take a lot of hours to get done. A lot of the work we've been doing this morning has been directly with first responders on those wires down issues. We're working closely with them to make sure that roads get open and folks stay safe. If you see wires down, we strongly advise you to call 911, call us so we can get someone out there and make sure it gets resolved. Stay away, always assume lines are energized. Uh, we are continuing to work to get a full picture as to the amount of damage that's out there. Once we have that, we will provide an estimated time of restoration. One of the challenges there is the kind of work that we're seeing in the field, as well as the fact that the wind is still blowing. So we're expecting that number to go up and down throughout the late morning and the afternoon as the wind causes more damage to the system, which further complicates trying to make that restoration. We'll have the best information for you on Facebook, on Twitter, at Unitil, and at Unitil.com and we'll get it to you as soon as we have it.